This is just a short three minute snippet uh, for people that are building their office from a patient we did yesterday. Uh, so you can get some sense of the organization and the mounting of the microscope and the, and the uh, logistics of uh, all the things that have to go into uh, an endodontic office. Uh, here for something like just giving anesthesia. All the placement of these things is very important. Here you can see the assistant can defog my mirror because I have to have really good vision to do a lingual uh, injection on that tooth. I have to know which side the uh, needle is beveled at and that sort of thing. Notice where the microscope is mounted. Um, I am partial to having it uh, on the back wall. Notice also that Joy can start and stop the video uh, as we work, so you don't end up with miles and miles of video. So her ability to start and stop the video, she's actually regulating how much video we're, we're shooting. Uh, I'm a little concerned on some of the offices I've seen that the back uh, table for the assistant is not large enough uh, today, when we're doing so much restorative dentistry, you want a larger back uh, table. Uh, having this stuff in drawers is actually very inconvenient when you start to work through it. So if you notice the size of Joy's table, it's, it's quite a bit larger than a lot of people are doing uh, right now. And you want to have her monitor right in front of her face so she doesn't have to do a lot of uh, turning. And here I'm using the zoom and pan function, but it also shows if you have the microscope out more in over the patient or in front, it's it's in the way. You you want to have the area around the patient completely free of any impediment uh, because you're you're using this with a larger monitor, and if it's out in front of the patient, uh, it, it'll be hitting that monitor when you move it around. So you can see here how the microscope is really kind of put out of the way because it's mounted uh, in, the, in the rear. There also you can kind of see a fuller size of the assistance cart or the assistance tray. It's, it's quite large and everything around the patient is free of any impediment except the cart, which is on rollers. And you can just simply move, move that away. So we're using this uh, zoom and pan function uh, all the time. It's really enhanced uh, patient communication uh, quite a bit uh, because you can just show one one or two slides and tell an entire, entire story uh, without having to show a lot of different pictures, which takes time to flip through a lot of different pictures. Again, notice how the microscope is out of the way and I, do, I don't have to worry about it uh, affecting uh, the case presentation to the patient.